I'm here at AUSA 2016 with David Damien, Director of Sales and Business Development for Merita Defence. We're standing beside Merita's proposal for the US Army's FMTV A2 requirement. David, could you tell me a little bit about the, the Meritor solution and, and some of the unique selling points of it? Yeah, Sean, of course. The Series 50 High Mobility Independent Suspension from Meritor is uh, the heavy-duty version in our series of independent suspensions between a Series 30, a Series 40, and Series 50. So the 50 is the heavy duty, and we've utilized this in a lot of uh, MRAPs, armor personnel carriers, and uh, very heavy duty applications. That's the basis for the product line we're offering for FMTV A2. And, and will you be offering it to the U.S. Army uh, as a prime for the FMTV A2 solution, or, or will you be offering it uh, in partnership with another contractor? Uh, we act as a tier one, so we will offer our suspension to any OEMs who are going to bid to become a prime contractor for the A2 program. And in terms of, of capability, um, could, could you tell us a little bit about the suspension setup itself? Uh, yes, of course. So it's designed for very high GVWs, as I mentioned, 25 to 29,000 pound GVW. Uh, for heavily armored vehicles, and the FMTV A2 is going to be heavily armored with the front cab for all the better survivability. So within the suspension, it includes the drivetrain, the braking system, and all of the structure required to upgrade the frame and the chassis itself in order to handle the heavy, ro heavy loads of an off-road environment. And some of the technical attributes of our Series 50 independent suspension include up to 18 inches of wheel travel, uh, gets up to a 38 degree steer angle, which allows the vehicle to be much more maneuverable, meet turn circle requirements that the Army has out there, and also allow the vehicle to hit all of the off-road environments that it's uh, expected to see out in theater and in, uh, in the uh, rugged environments that it operates in. Uh, and when you say 18 inches of wheel travel with the, the independent coil spring setup, how, how does that compare to the FMTV of today with its traditional leaf spring suspension? Uh, there is no comparison. The, the FMTV today is probably in the ballpark of maybe six to eight inches of wheel travel, and it's a much more stiff suspension with the leaf springs and the, and the beam axles. With the independent suspension, another one of the benefits that's going to provide is uh, comfort for the driver itself. So as soldiers are out in out in operation in the theater, uh, one of the big things for them is to be ready for combat as soon as they arrive someplace. Well, when they're in the back of a vehicle that has a not doesn't have an independent suspension, they're getting beat up in the back and they're going to be getting tired and they're going to be worn out when they get to wherever it is they've got to go. With an independent suspension, it's going to be a much smoother ride, much more comfortable for all the passengers and, and the drivers, and they'll be much more combat ready when they get there. Excellent. Thank you very much.